Greetings, this is Earthman from Origami's Living Soil. Just enjoying the blessing of each day of being alive. And I'm here looking at cucumbers gone crazy. I think I have uh, five plants in this bed and uh, way too many because they just are going crazy. Uh, I will give you a look. Yeah, but you got the runners just going everywhere, runners grabbing on the runners. And, they're starting to make their way up this tree. I've got some over here that are just going crazy, as you can see. And uh, a lot of cucumbers being made. I have lemon cucumbers and uh, Richmond Organic, uh, both organic, uh, Richmond Heirloom Green Apple um, Cucumber. It's really a pretty cucumber. I did. I'll take a few pictures of it and put it somewhere on my website or something. But nonetheless, um, I'll be, keep you guys informed, but this plant is just going crazy. Now, I do have some yellowing down below. I've been battling with uh, a lot of bugs, a lot of insects, different like Japanese beetles and aphids and whatever. But um, I'm keeping them at bay with neem and water. Uh, actually, I mix neem with tea, a bacteria tea. Uh, I'm starting to put a little more lactate bacteria in the tea because that seems to um, clean up the blight. If there's a blight that comes in here, fungus blight or something, that'll take care of that. Uh, baking soda is another good thing uh, in the you know, water. Diatomaceous earth, my wife has always helped me pronounce that right, is a good alternative for your beds to keep them from breeding in, the, in there. But... Um, this uh, video is just on the cucumber plant and the amazing, let's see, I'll get you in there and just show you the huge network of stuff going on there. And I, I do have another one. This one's not doing so well. It took a hit on, um, uh, took a really hit on the sun, just beaming down on it. And um, I have some other problems, but... Um, yeah, it's not doing too well. Uh, now I have one over here. This is one plant. See over here. And you see this thing just... It's going crazy. And they're going up the tree. Also here. And uh, yeah, this other one's not doing good. But can't win them all. And... Uh, so, yep, and oh, you have a squash plants. Massive leaves. No squash! I have a couple squash coming in finally, and that one over there, I have a couple coming in, but this plant's just getting massive and not making any food for me. But, um, you know, genetics. I'm going to look for a different squash plant next year that's more productive. And this cucumber plant here, the Richmond apple cucumber, is starting to make a lot of uh, cucumbers down there so we'll have cucumbers in about two to three weeks and uh, be ready for market and all that and uh, help the, the cucumber tomato plant I'm gonna do another video on that I'm gonna do a video high from the air showing you uh, the upper view uh, bird's eye view of my garden uh, 10 feet up so um, this is it for earth man and cucumbers gone crazy and I hope your day is blessed from the rest on and your plants do, you know, do great for God's glory.